Welcome to another session of Microwave Engineering. In this session, we will be discussing about gun diode. Uh, in last lecture, if, if you have not visited my last lecture sessions, lecture number 36 about gun diode part 1, please do visit that lecture. Uh, in that gun diode, the specific type of gun diode, it's about RWH model theory, what do you mean by drip velocity, what do you mean by negative resistance region, all these things have been explained in detail in that lecture. In today's lecture, we will be discussing about two value model theory and we will be also discussing about the various oscillation modes of gun diode in detail. Two mol valley model theory, very, very interesting concept in microwave uh, history. Why does gun diode only exhibit uh, negative resistance region and why does it behave as an oscillator? The answer to this question is its construction. Because this comes under the category of 3 and 5A periodic table like gallium arsenide, indium phosphate and cadmium telluride. I repeat, gallium arsenide, indium phosphate, cadmium telluride can only exhibit the, uh, gun diode characteristics. These are the alloy compounds which can result in gun diode characteristics meaning this can exhibit negative resistance region when a potential of 2000 to 4000 volt per centimeter is being applied. What is so special among these alloys, if this question is asked to me, is that in the valence band and the conduction band, normally what happens? The electrons, if they, if they are able to cross from the valence band to conduction band, it starts behaving like a conductor. I hope you know the basics of the periodic table, uh, basics of uh, uh, semiconductor devices. Suppose you have this as a valence band. And this is your conduction band. This is a forbidden band gap energy, 1.43 electron volts. That means any uh, device to conduct, it should have that much energy that the electrons should be able to cross over and move on to the conduction band and start behaving like a conductor. Now what happens in a gun diode is that when electrons are excited and are moved up to the conduction band, the electrons do not move. In fact, in this only, there are two models this model is, can you see the lower value? This is called lower value and this is upper value. Both the values are separated by a distance of delta E. Can you see this? This is called as thermal energy gap. That is 0.36 electron volt, right? 0.36 electron volt. What happens is that we say that there are two valleys, lower valley and an upper valley. The electrons in the lower valley will always occupy less density of state. Now, is called that we Hindi in Hindi, so, patla admi hamesha kam jaga leta hai students. Patla admi hamesha kam jaga leta hai. Or patla admi jada tez dod sakta hai. Kehne ka matlab, electrons in the lower valley will always occupy low density of state. And since it occupies, since it is very thin, sorry, very small effective mass, it can, a mobility is going to be very high. That's why you can see over here, can you see? This is the doping concentration, right? And this is the mobility. Both is going to be very high as possible. Whereas, your upper value over here in this case, what will happen is the electrons in this case is going to be occupy larger density of state. Its mobility is going to be as usual very, very low. What happens is when you are applying a voltage, when you are applying a voltage, that voltage is always less than the lower value. And when it is less than the lower value, all the electrons are present inside. You can see are always present inside your what happens? All the electrons are present inside the lower value when you apply a voltage which is less than the lower value. When you apply a voltage which is going to be more, which is going to be more than your uh, lower valley but less than the upper valley, the electrons get slowly get translated towards the upper valley. This process, you know, is called as transferred electron device. This is a process by which negative resistance region starts getting formed. Your electric field is increasing, your voltage is getting, you know, your current is going to decrease. Over here, when you apply a voltage greater than, when you apply a voltage greater than the upper value, remember all the electrons are already present over your upper value and there is no transfer of electrons. So, because of this process, negative resistance region gets generated. What are the conditions required for the gun diode to exhibit diode characteristics are, first the suppression energy, that is, you remember, we had this. What was this? Balance band, conduction band. The separation energy, I mean to say these two, right? These two plus you have the valleys also, right? 
upper and lower value do you recollect this i am talking about these values students i am talking about the separation means i want to say the separation between the lower energy level and the upper energy level we are talking about this so this separation should be always this separation should be always greater than thermal energy it should be always greater than thermal energy then only electrons will be always collected at the lower value secondly the separation between the values should be always less, less than forbidden gap energy do you recollect this forbidden gap energy it was 1.46 electron volt which was present between the valence band and the convection band so when you are applying the uh, delta e it should be less than eg is that if it is greater than what will happen this will become a conductor means all the electrons which are present in the valence band will immediately get shifted to conduction band and there are no formation of uh, valleys lower valley and upper valley and it will behave like a conductor which we do not want so it will becomes highly conductive this is what explain highly conductor before the electrons get transferred to upper valley because electron hole pair formation is created this we want to avoid so always delta e should be less than eg Le electrons in the lower valley this i told you patla aadmi jyada tez daud sakta hai kam jagah leta hai to patla aadmi matlab you can say low so small effective mass high mobility low density of state same exactly opposite will happen in your uh, upper valley the useful conductors are of course silicon and germanium no doubts with that but the type of uh, compounds can be formed as gallium arsenide i had told you all indium phosphide and cadmium tetrate please note if you try to interchange these alloys also these things will not work i hope you understood this clearly same gun diode with the help of a diagram has been explained over here when the applied electric field is less than lower valley electric field electrons are present in the lower valley when the applied lower valley electric electric field is greater than lower valley but less than upper valley some of the electrons are transferred to the upper valley when applied electric field is greater than the upper valley all the electrons are transferred over here during this process your uh, diode starts behaving like a transferred electron devices you should know the short forms of all the name diodes i hope you understood this clearly now let us see the oscillation modes in this lecture we will be discussing about the various current oscillation modes please note the current oscillation modes depends upon always the product of frequency multiplied by length the product of frequency multiplied by length and it also depends upon the doping concentration multiplied by length these are the more most two ways dependent characteristics on which the modes of oscillations depend upon first is product of frequency multiplied by length don't be surprised when you see this and can you see the unit unit is 10 raised to 7 cm per second don't get surprised by the cm per second this cm per second is coming into picture is because it is a velocity when you multiply frequency multiplied by length just want to show you vd is equal to l upon t do you agree with this velocity is equal to distance upon time 1 upon t can be written as frequency so frequency multiplied by length that's where the unit is coming s10 raised to 7 cm per second and doping multiplied by length is also greater than 10 raised to 12 per cm square now this stevens device is going to be unstable and some uh, why is it unstable because continuously high field domain has been created over here okay it is very relatively low impedance the device operates with a high field domain and frequency right now what is a stable amplification mode in stable amplification mode it has been defined in the region where the product of frequency multiplied by length is 10 raised to about 10 raised to 7 here it was also same here doping frequency sorry doping multiplied by length is greater this is between 10 raised to 11 and 10 raised to 12 can you see the difference last time it was greater than and this time it is between between the next set of diodes uh, the next set of oscillation modes is called as gun oscillation modes it again depends upon product of frequency multiplied by length and the doping concentration multiplied by length and you can see it is greater than 10 raised to 12 per cm square whereas the first one was uh, about 10 raised to uh, 12 per cm square between 10 raised to 11 and 12 that is stable amplification mode the third one is gun oscillation mode it is greater than 10 raised to 12 per cm square now the speciality is that high field domain is going to be created from the cathode will move towards the anode 
and this high field in domain depending upon what velocity you want to work upon for example uh, whenever you write an exam you all will be with a, a passing mark for example uh, suppose i tell that i'm taking a test for 20 marks and 10 is going to be the average marks whoever scores less than 10 fails now 10 means it's 50 percent but in an, any exam they, normally it is passing is 8 so i will call that 8 is a sustaining velocity and the acceptable velocity is going to be 10 so i might try to tell you that 10 is a passing but actually 8 is a passing so if a person gets 9 he is passed but he's really near to the border i don't want my students to come to the border so with that example we are going to learn about the various type of gun oscillation modes which is going to be there as i explained your gun uh, your high field domain is always going to move from the uh, cathode towards the anode now let us see how many types of gun oscillation modes we are having the first one is transit time mode very simple diagram this is a drift velocity you remember voltage versus current as voltage increases current increases as voltage increases current is decreasing your negative resting region can you see this is what i was trying to tell you all this is a sustaining meaning your 8 out of uh, 20 this is 10 out of 20 so your applied voltage is right now uh, within the sustain has not reached the sustaining so what we say is that over here the type of velocity you're going to ha have is product of frequency multiplied by length is going to be 10 raised to 7 centimeter per second suppose you're getting this much drift velocity the efficiency is going to be below 10 percent the current is collected only when the uh, domain is arriving at the anode you're not getting a very very good type of oscillation mode not a sustained it's going to be sustained oscillation but not so effective the percentage is only 10 percent we say that the oscillation mode is going to, going to be equal to your transit time mode right the diagram is made over here the next one is called as a delayed domain node why is it called delayed you can all see over here can you see this can you this part see this part maybe i'll uh, make it as a highlighter can you see this part everybody what happened it is delayed how much is it delayed can you see it is delayed by some factor since it has been delayed we can say uh, since it is getting delayed meaning uh, your nucleated process to move from the cathode towards the anode is taking some more time so some more time the high field domain will exist in this device as a result as a result your efficiency slightly increases up to 20 percent The third mode is called as a quenched mode. It is exactly opposite to your delayed mode. Last time you saw your transit time mode was outside. You remember that? The transit mode time mode was outside the oscillation time. This time your transit time mode is here and your mode is has already decreased before itself. Your tau naught is less than tau t. So what happens over here is here also your efficiency is going to be approximately 20% uh, only and it has been seen that uh, can you see last time your uh, uh, the negative half cycle was not below the sustaining velocity and sustaining field but this time it is below that sustaining field how much percentage you can get they are doing it at that uh, uh, frequency only the time is very very less and when the bias swings back to the threshold immediately what happens a new domain try to be created over here but actually a new domain total new domain is created not in this mode that is called as lsa mode which is the next one you can see over here uh, here diagram here the efficiency is 20 percent i'm sorry last time the efficiency was 13 percent I, I think i told 20 there it is 13 percent because uh, within that time slot many oscillations was not able to be created in lsa mode which is a limited space charge oscillation, same type of uh, things happen but only difference is that within the transit time mode multiple oscillations are going to take place multiple oscillations are going to take place so what will happen is that you will see that the efficiency can be increased can be increased that is you can see the diagram see multiple oscillations are able to uh, take place last time when it was a quenched mode only till here and it stopped that's why the efficiency was approximately 10 to 13 percent here multiple oscillations are going to take place and when they're trying to compare this with uh, the type of doping that is if i'm taking uh, one velocity be 5 into 10 to power 6 maybe the another velocity is 5 into 10 to power 7 and when you're trying to compare with the frequency i'm getting 2 into 10 to power 5 to 2 into 10 to power 4 meaning when you're trying to find doping concentration with respect to your frequency it can be anywhere between 2 into 10 to power 5 to 2 into 10 to power 4 
only thing is that here you are going to see that your oscillation time period will be always equal to thrice of tau d. It can be three, it can be five, it can be seven, it can be anything actually because depend. Since three cycles has been drawn over here, we have written three tau d. Now this tau d is called as diode relaxation time. It is that time at which your diode relax and immediately swings back to action. It does not wait. So the frequency as compared to a quench mode has increased up to. Uh, has to increase up to 20%. So these are the different types of oscillation modes we have in uh, a gun diode.